Okay, hello you guys and welcome back to Vlogmas day 20, I think. That's crazy to say. It's honestly so crazy that Christmas is this week, but I just got a huge package in the mail from Zara, so I thought I would kind of start this video off with a little Zara haul. I... <laughs> I've been so into like shopping lately and it's bad. I think I'm like over it now because I've spent so much money between gifts, shopping for myself, friends, like for the dog, everything. I've just been like spending so much money the whole month of December, I feel like, that I am honestly so sick of spending money and I think in January I'm gonna like cool it off a little bit. But this package and then I bought two pairs of new balances. New Balance 550s that should be coming later this week and then one other small package coming hopefully soon. I ordered it Black Friday and it's still not here. So other than those two packages which I've already ordered, I hopefully will not be getting any more new things for a little while because at this point I don't even know where to put it in my closet and I just... I'm just, I'm done spending money. It's like exhausting to spend money these days. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little Zara try on haul because I just got them all in the mail and I really wanna see what they look like so I thought I would share with you guys. This is gonna be the truest try on haul, the first time I'm trying the pieces. So it is gonna be very like real reactions which is kind of fun to see because sometimes I wait a little, like I don't love things the first time I wear them. And then later, once I style them differently, I start to love them. So this is going to be a very true reaction haul. So the first thing I got is this cable knit sweater. It's like this caramely color. I got it in a size medium and it's cropped. I think that this crop is like the perfect length for me. I know sometimes some people like super cropped. I'm like not into like a very super cropped look but I do like a little bit of a crop and I think the cable knit is so cute. The caramel is really pretty and I'm really liking it. I got it in a medium so that it would be a little bit longer than a normal crop, but I think it falls perfectly. It still falls above my belly button or kind of just right at it. And then with high-waisted pants, it's perfect length in my opinion. Next, I got these parachute pants, which let me see if I can wear this. I love these parachute pants. They kind of cinch right here. They have this, um, I don't know exactly like what this strap is called, but like where you can kind of make it tighter and pull it, or you can pull it out and make them looser and flared at the bottom. If I have them too open though, they are pretty big on me at the bottom. I mean, I'm short, so maybe if you're taller, that would be better. But if I have them cinched, I really like the look of it. And then I just kind of fold it up and under. They're like a charcoal-y color. I almost wish that they were a true black because I think this sweater would be cute with a true black pant, but I think the charcoal is just throwing me off with the sweater a little bit. But I think these are super cute. They're very comfy. The waistband is also that same drawstring, so you can kind of make it tighter or bigger if you need to. Very stretchy. And I got these in a size small. I think I probably could have done an extra small, but since like I can tighten this band so much with this drawstring, I think the small works pretty well. Okay, next I got this cream sweater, which I am obsessed with. I think it's so cute. It's such a comfy fit. It's a little oversized, but it's not so like bulky oversized, which I'm trying to steer away from because I do like my clothes to fit big. I don't like super tight clothes, but since I'm so short, sometimes too big of clothes looks a little sloppy on me so i'm really loving the length of this sweater and how it fits i thought this was like a gray detail and it kind of looks gray detail on the camera but it's actually just see-through it's like little cutouts of the shirt but i think it looks so cute and this i got in a size small so i would say this fits true to size okay next i got these pants which wait which i feel like they would be so cute but obviously incredibly long on me i really like that they have this pleated hem and that there's like this little slit in the side i would just need to get them hemmed which i have this horrible problem of thinking pants are just going to magically fit me correctly and i don't take the time to get them tailored to fit me the way i want them to fit me but i think honestly i might do it for these because i have been wanting a good cream colored pair of pants especially for work and like the winter going in the office everything like i think i would get a lot of good use out of these pants and i just rely too much on pants fitting me exactly how i would like them to fit me and that's never gonna happen because i'm under five foot so 
it's just not gonna happen. I need to get them tailored. And if I'm spending the money on the pant, like I might as well get them tailored instead of having them just sit in my drawer and I'm never wearing them or just returning them. And then I keep trying to buy pants that are the same and I end up in the same exact situation. So I think I actually might keep these and get them tailored to obviously be hemmed. And they're a little big up top, but I kind of like that. Like I like the extra length there. I got this turtleneck it's cropped and it's a size small and this one's definitely a little bit more flared and airy it has these big like armpits which is really comfy but I'm not sure if I, I love that or not because I feel like when I go like that it looks like I don't know like it's so comfy I like that part of it I got it in a small which thank god I did because these sleeves are massive compared to like like I think they took the extra length of this bottom and put it in the sleeves like they are flared sleeves there's so much room in here and i have them rolled but oh i think actually they stay rolled never mind they're like sewn rolled like that which i do typically do this with my sleeves anyway so i kind of don't mind that but yeah and then obviously turtleneck which is cute so this is a maybe we'll see how i like it i mean i have to wear this one out and figure it out and try to style with different outfits but i think it's cute and comfy i mean obviously a lot of the things i got are basics and these cream colors so i think i could pair them more i'm trying to have more of like a simple style rather than so many chaotic colors because i tend to go for colors because i think that's fun but these are corduroy parachute pants which is incredible i've never seen a corduroy pair of parachute pants and they're basically the same as the other ones they have the tie thing here um i just like the cream and i like the corduroy again so comfy cute except i feel like it's just maybe a little gappy here so maybe i have them too tight i'm not really sure but love okay and then the last two things i got are just shirts so this one is a corduroy button-up shirt it's basically i thought the same as these pants but it's a little bit lighter than the pants actually it's like more white washed than the pants are a little bit more of like a darker creamy tan but i love corduroy and i think this is so cute with the whole button-up situation button-ups are so versatile in my opinion you can wear them fully buttoned you can wear them open with something underneath you can wear them as like a cover-up in the summer with swimsuits i just think it's so cute and i really love the corduroy it's like nice length i got it in a size small and i thought even like with nice dress pants like tuck this in be so cute for work not these pants like black dress pants so cute and then the last thing i got is this oxford style shirt which is basically the same as that corduroy one but it's blue and white pinstriped i feel like it's like the preppy look except i don't like it on me i feel like i literally am giving dad going to work vibes and it's just not suiting me well but basically it's the same as the other corduroy one so i don't know why i feel like that in this one and not the other one maybe just like the plain solid color of the white one helps but yeah something about this is just screaming my dad to me so I think I might return this, but I feel like a lot of people have been wearing these like pinstriped and they look cute on other people. It just feels weird on me. But I feel like, again, this would be cute in the summer with like shorts or bathing suit, wear it open. But I just don't think I'm gonna get as much use out of it, honestly, as I would like to. And it's probably just gonna sit in my closet. So I might return this one. So that is everything I got from Zara. I will try to link it all below since I just recently got it. It should be pretty easy to find on the website. Now I'm going to make some breakfast because I am starving and haven't eaten yet. This puppy, you guys, I'm obsessed. Like, look at him. Why is he so cute? He's been so good all morning and even during the night. Like, the first night we had him, he was fine. He didn't pee or poop and he like literally didn't even sleep in the crate either night but yeah he's been so good and i swear i think he's like partially potty trained already i don't know how but we put the puppy pad out and he peed on that twice and then other times he just like cries by the back door and we take him out he goes pee and then he like runs back to the door i don't know how he knows that already he's so young and he's been like in a shelter so i don't i don't know how he would know that but his paws <laughs> He's gonna be a big boy. I've 
Okay, so for breakfast, I'm gonna do some avocado toast. I just made my toast. I made this avocado spread, which is just avocado, salt, pepper, lemon juice, and a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. Then, I'm gonna add some sliced tomato. Small amount of cilantro, because it's my favorite seasoning. And then I made these hard boiled eggs this morning, but I think they're like a little bit medium boiled, so I'm not gonna <laughs> use too many, because honestly the flavor of egg like freaks me out. And then I'm gonna do some little extra salt because I don't want the taste of egg. And then top it with this sriracha. It's been so hard to find sriracha lately, so this is what we're using. Which is honestly pretty good. I think it's a little spicier than the one we usually use, but it's good. And that's breakfast. I made enough for a second sandwich if I want one later or something, but I think I only want one for right now, so yum. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. We're making chicken salad, which I don't have a recipe for, so this should be fun. But I just chopped up some onion and celery. Now I'm going to peel some chicken off of this rotisserie chicken. Add some thing seasonings and such. And just hope that it comes out okay. Get out of my kitchen, I'm working here. No. Can you just mind your own business? Okay, this is the final product. It's a little bit more saucy, I think, than usual. I don't know, I was kind of just like throwing everything together. I could probably add more chicken because we still have a lot left, but I've been eating it with these everything but the bagel pretzel thins and it's so yummy. It's like a nice little dip as a snack. And I've also been eating these green pepper shooters. My parents have always had these in our house like ever since I was growing up and my uncle actually makes them himself. They're big cherry peppers stuffed with prosciutto and uh, I'm not exactly sure it's like cheese and ham and then it's in like an olive oil base with some seasonings it's kind of has like a little bit of a spicy kick but I wouldn't say that they're spicy and it's so good so I've been snacking on them I got these at Wegmans they're kind of hard to find but I got, I got this one at Wegmans and I know Costco and um, Sam's Club sometimes has them too so you could look there but they're so good so I'm gonna snack on this for a bit Look who's already fixing the recipe. It was perfect before. Uh huh. I'm making it worse. Uh huh. Oh, it's so much chicken. Do we have a puppy trapped on the couch? Can you knock it down? <laughs> What's wrong? You got all your toys. Luca does not care for toys because he just wants to gnaw our freaking arm off. That's all he wants. Ow, sir. Look at those cheekies. Can you pause that? About to make a dinner, but before we do, we are going to do the advent calendars of today. So loud in the background. What's today, Antonio? Night. Oh! So, 19 Puka, I don't even know how to say this. Tulsi Clarity? Tulsi? Mm -hmm. Tulsi? Tulsi? Like a wild. sacred blend of flowering with vibrant clarity. I have to make sure they all say caffeine free since I gotta get up for work in the morning. Luca! 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 And apology day 19. Why can't I find it? Oh. Skin Iceland. I think it's an eye cream. It says bright. Oh, yeah. 
Brightening Eye Serum with Arctic Peptides. Solutions for stressed skin. Perfect for me. <laughs> Nate, do you want some? I feel like you have some pretty stressed skin. No. Okay, so then for dinner, I thought we could do a little leftover salad from the ingredients from last night. So like a little taco salad. I just made this bowl full of lettuce. I'm gonna chop up some onion and cilantro, some tomatoes, and then throw the chicken in it and make a whole salad. Mm. Okay, this is the taco salad for dressing. I just did sour cream, sriracha, and lime juice. Okay, just showered and got ready for bed. I'm gonna have a little bit of this ice cream. This is the Briar's Carb Smart Brownie a la mode. But I have to put it in a coffee mug because all of our bowls are dirty, which is currently in the dishwasher running behind me. So I'm gonna have a little this while I watch a movie and then have my tea and go to bed. <laughs> 